Hello everybody, Glitch Reaper here. I'm back for another vlog, and I kind of have been a little low on time recently for various reasons. Uh, not the least of which has been kind of a combination of work-related, the Doctor Who marathon, and I'm recovering from another stage of my whole dental overhaul thing. So, yeah, that, that kind of all happened in a very brief time span, so things kind of got a little out of it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, <laughs> wanted to uh, get another vlog about something that's kind of been related in terms of, uh, well, sort of. Uh, I was wanting to discuss how some things kind of didn't go through the way I was expecting. Uh, namely, there was a few mod pack things that have kind of happened recently, and in uh, a series of ideas that didn't uh, Please go back to the water. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, and I was wanting to discuss kind of what the situation has been with some of them. And uh, one of which has been the whole uh, modding frontier thing. It was going to be pretty cool, but then the server had a major issue, and the server owner decided to use it for something else temporarily. Uh, we might come back to that idea in the future, but for now it seems that uh, they kind of got it a little overtaxed. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of was a bit, uh, a bit, a bit uh, illuminating as to why the Forgecraft people have such a hard time getting things set up to be playable enough just to uh, test in multiplayer. So, I mean, it was working for a while, and we... We, we kind of were setting some stuff up, but then things went terribly wrong, and it couldn't exactly be reverted the way that we were hoping to. So it just shows that stuff happens on that end. And while I might be able to do that uh, individually, and maybe I'll be able to troubleshoot things, uh, for right now, probably not uh, for in the foreseeable like short term. A long term, maybe. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to do it SMP style again like we were trying to do before, but for now it seems to have gone out. Uh, another thing is uh, that uh, we were uh, thinking of, of doing some other stuff too. Like, I was originally thinking of, uh, of doing... Uh, let me see, what was it? Well, I know that some things kind of went down in other ways. Like, I know I mentioned that before that Crusader had had a, kind of a memory issue where things kind of went down and I lost some progress. I'm still progressing on the Thalmcraft side of that in terms of my progress. In fact, I'm pretty much nearly done. Uh, but I also found out that my itch well, it wound up resetting both my achievements and my quest progress. I'm not sure if I'm going to reconvene on the quest or not because that kind of was a bit scrambled with one of the direct pack updates anyhow. And I've already got up to a pretty good point on those things. I may still do something similar later. I might redo some of that in the background and see if I've been to a point where I can show anything past that. I don't know. So that's kind of in the maybe department in terms of worrying about that. I may just go ahead with getting back into Crusader at some point. Which could be fairly soon, maybe not, I don't know. But it, it is getting pretty much back to the point where I can do things again. Which is very nice. Uh, this is that I was able to reprogress there. Because for a while I thought with all that Thumbcraft progress lost that it would just take way too long. But the answer is a little bit different than that. Oh, poor dolphin. Y you can kind of see why I had to restore the dolphin in this tank. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah the, 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 they need a little bit more foresight in their they're leaping because that, that that's not necessarily good to go nose first into a large piece of glass it's not safe in real life so it can't possibly be safe in minecraft right <laughs> yeah poor dolphin that had to hurt anyhow uh i was, I was also going to say that uh me and Gina, we were doing uh, the uh series on thomic resurgence together currently we're not sure what we're going to do about that uh we might update and uh, do like a, a version 2.0, we might continue where we left off, we might do other things uh, together, and we might even join together and do Sevtech Ages. Uh, 
Which, that, now the funny thing is, is that he doesn't seem to have the confidence that he's a well-known modder. Which is very weird. I mean, Abyssalcraft is pretty big and it's well-featured in that mod pack, so I think even if, if uh, his opinion is true, it won't be for long because that mod pack is really popular. So I'm pretty sure that's going to bring a, a lot of attention to pretty much most of the mods in it <laughs> in short order. Which is interesting because I kind of may have brought the attention of one of them to one of the people who made the mod pack. And so that's kind of created a feedback loop because now the mod pack's super popular and that's going to bring uh, a, more attention to, uh, to that particular mod and may or may not realize it, but I'm talking about Totemic. Which was one of the... Uh, more successful mod reviews I did. I may also do an update on that in the future. Uh, it's gotten a good enough amount of content where I probably should be able to do a full update video rather than just have something just announced. So yeah, so it's probably about that time. And a lot has kind of changed with it since then. In fact, it finally actually has one of the things that are one of the most appropriate changes everybody has been asking for, including me. And that is... Uh, custom models for the totems. <laughs> I mean, come on, you gotta have your decorative totem pole. So that, that was kind of a given. And uh, there's some things that I might still do otherwise in terms of series and stuff, but for now, things are kind of a bit in flux. Um, now, I'm still gonna do some things upcoming. I still have some things I consider ongoing, like I still will do uh, mod reviews whenever I feel I got one uh, uh that seems appropriate. I'll still be doing, uh, well, mob battles. I'll also uh, kind of head into doing some new stuff in terms of maybe some version reviews of Minecraft in the future, because starting with Update Aquatic, I finally feel like I really need to go for it. And maybe also Seed Showcase, which is something that hadn't happened for a while that I like the idea of. And, I mean, right now I'm standing in one that I'm definitely going to showcase the seed of, because... Seriously, this was one of the best spawns I've, I, I, I've had in quite some time. It, it just really deserves it. And I haven't seen much of that otherwise being done for quite some time. And I'm kind of surprised because with the landscape having more and more important features, why aren't they just saying, hey, by the way, this shows up if you go to this world? Or have more, pe or have more people gotten more of a spirit of adventure and not wanting to know in advance and just going for it? Uh, admittedly, now that we have wings in Minecraft, that, that could kind of be a thing. <laughs> and they have made it a little easier to find certain types of structures, but not all. There, there's some that still, when you find them, you find them, and they are still seed-specific. So I just kind of feel that it would be kind of good to bring back that kind of practice back into the Minecraft community a bit. Because I have not been seeing it for quite some time. They're going, you know, that was a cool idea. I kind of like collecting seed numbers myself, so why not bring that back? Uh... And there's some other things I'll be, of course, continuing as, as I already have been. It's just I wanted to also just kind of go over what kind of uh, happened with some particular series I was doing and why they kind of went out. Like, you may know the story of Crazy Craft that I was trying to synchronize with a server and something horribly broke. Specifically, mainly a lot of, like, IDs may or may not be familiar with the concept of IDs uh, in items and blocks because that kind of transitioned darn lips, that kind of transitioned over time to not relying on ID numbers as much and kind of went more to names of blocks and items. Uh, the thing is, back then in 1.7.10, that was pretty much the only way things were done. So, sometimes whenever you changed a pack in some way, it would reroute every last number and then things would get scrambled. That's pretty much what happened. And that meant that I couldn't really go back to that world that I've been doing for so long. So that's basically what happened there. I'm not sure if I mentioned the whole story and kind of the technical aspects of it about uh, how identification numbers for things worked before, but that is pretty much the story, is that I was trying to synchronize for a server and then when it came to trying to get back to my world, it just kind of broke. And the server, it, it worked for a while. Uh, we had a good time with it. We even did a few videos on it, but then, like the uh, server owner had like uh, like some issues and wanted to kind of shake things up and do something different. So we decided on trying to do the whole uh, modding frontier thing. And of course, that I, I mentioned the story behind that one just a few moments ago. So you kind of know what happened there. 
that it just refused to load for like, well, maybe it didn't say it perfectly, but basically it was refusing to, refusing to, darn lips, refusing to, yeah, this is what happens when you're recovering from dental stuff. Uh, it was refusing to load for like anybody and in, on any possible launcher. Like we were even trying to use the vanilla launcher and doing like a straight up profile. We were trying to use alternate launchers. And normally whenever you're on a server that's modded, all you have to have is all the mods the same. You don't necessarily have to worry about which mod you, uh, which mo uh, mod pa uh, pack launcher you're using. Like it doesn't matter if it's vanilla, curseforge slash uh, Twitch. It doesn't matter if it's like Technic or Feed the Beast, or even well, I, uh, or ATL for the uh, for that matter, which is also a good one. But th the fact is that normally all you need is the right mod. So we were very much pondering what went wrong because we were even trying to use the same thing. So it came down to a point where we're going, uh, something's just not working, and we didn't have enough ability to figure out what went wrong. Like, we, we weren't able to to troubleshoot it good enough, so it kind of went out. Now, as for some other things, again, I'm still kind of going in some things I might be doing new after a while, but right now, again, I'm a bit... Uh, squeezed in more than one way but i still try finding as much time as i can so yeah i mean I, I, i'm persistent we'll see how this goes uh for now uh this has been uh, glitch reaper and uh i think i've got all the news in that i need to for this time so i do hope to hear from you later i'll be logging off for now so bye for now everybody